Let's get things rolling after this morning. This is what we're watching out for for the time being over in parts of Mansfield. I'm not seeing too much rain out there now after we've had some showers and thunderstorms moving through there. Over in Rhinelander, we had some rain earlier as well, and obviously breezy out there as well. I've zoomed our camera in the flagpole. You can see the flags are moving out there this morning as well, and our camera kind of wobbling around a little bit as well as a result of the wind that's currently taking place. But enough of that, though. We do have showers and storms that are developing out there as well. You can see that in the radar. And Violet's kind of getting the worst of it right now in our viewing area. So let's zoom things in right now and give you the bigger picture. We have some lightning right here. The worst with this cell right now is just some heavy downpours as, it's tracked, as it tracks off towards the south and east. So it looks like it's going to be hitting parts of Highway 17 and just a little bit just north of Eagle River. But if we throw this radar into motion, here's a better idea on where it's headed. So it's going to be staying just barely north of Eagle River at best. So if it clips it, it won't clip it by much, though. But it'll track off towards the south and east towards parts of Forest County. So Forest County may need to watch for this as well. But zoom things out and give you the bigger picture picture though obviously some other showers are developing as well we had a little downpour in parts of Rhinelander a little while ago we'll be watching for more of that throughout the morning period though but by the afternoon things start to weaken a bit so this front will quit producing rainfall for us this will mean though that we will ha hold on to the clouds for the afternoon in some spots but other spots will lose the clouds and that means some heat will be on the way but again the showers and storms do taper off later on this morning wherever the clouds set up that will hold temperatures down in the 70s while other spots though where we have sunshine 80s may Maybe some 90s, not out of the question. But later on tonight, though, more storms possible in parts of the UP by early Wednesday morning. They should leave us alone. They might clip parts of northeastern Wisconsin. But again, for us, just some clouds, and that'll be about it. And of course, a lot of sunshine on the way as we head towards your Wednesday. And that'll help to boost temperatures into the 90s, possibly upper 90s, further down toward the south before clouds move in again as we head towards early Thursday morning. So meanwhile, though, here's the threat right about here. A marginal risk for some of the storms to get on the stronger side. We're talking about maybe some hail will some of this and of course some heavy downpours with that as well of course that threat will taper off later on this morning we have heat alerts so heat advisories excessive heat warnings are posted for those respective colors until roughly 9 p.m later on wednesday evening though there's an excessive heat watch in adams county for thursday as the heat will continue there for at least another day your mega meter though showing dew points will be on the rise we're going to be feeling it out there as well with dew points that'll be rising at least in the middle 60s we'll, we'll feel it more though as we head towards your wednesday possibly even some upper 60s the lower 70s as well. But notice by Friday, we're still there. But then by Saturday and Sunday, things do start to feel better as a cold front looks to move through. But temperatures right now, upper 50s further off towards the north and east, 60 degrees in Rhinelander. We have 60s in parts of Lincoln County and middle 60s further down toward the south. And temperatures today will get a little bit of a boost to look a little bit like this. We have 70s, maybe even a few 60s if we're lucky further off towards the north and east where the clouds will stick around. But where the sun comes out, some 80s, possibly even some upper 80s before we're all finished up. And then it gets a lot warmer for tomorrow with 80s and 90s on the way, possibly even some upper 90s further down toward the south. Forecast for today, some morning thunderstorms, then clouds and sun for the afternoon, and overall high in the upper 70s. So obviously some other spots will be a little bit cooler or even a little bit warmer, but southeast wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. By the time, party cloudy, breezy out there with lows in the lower 60s. That southeast wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. North winds, furniture, and mattress, seven-day forecast, lots of sunshine and heat on Wednesday with highs in the lower 90s. A small chance for showers on Thursday. Otherwise, party cloudy highs in the mid 80s, lower 80s Friday with a chance for storms. And we're driving for the weekend as temperatures become comfortable.